The United Nations declared 2020 as the International Year of Plant Health, which I think is the perfect timing for us to step up as young people to help our farmers in the different agricultural challenges that we face. For example, according to studies, around 220 billion US dollars are being lost merely because of plant diseases. And in the Philippines alone, the average age of farmers is around 60 years old. Baka mga limang taog pa yan, wala nang sasakain dito. Puro mga makapabrika na dyan, umalis na. Hirap ka, pawis, dugo. And yung mga bata, yung mga anak nila, wala naman sa farming. Sa iba nagtatrabaho eh. And most of our farming practices are very traditional and very outdated. We want to help our farmers classify plant diseases and give them a decision support tool so that they can make better and more informed decisions. So instead of waiting for weeks or even months just to diagnose uh, the plant disease, our mobile app will be able to do that in a matter of seconds. Have you ever wanted a smart garden but don't know how to build one? You may want to start a side business in agriculture. Or you may even be an existing seller but with profits squeezed by the middleman. Here's where HydroEgo comes in. We are your partners in hydroponic solutions and resources. With the global population set to exceed 10 billion people by 2050, the challenge of providing enough food for everyone in a sustainable, efficient and cost-effective way is rising in significance. Indonesia is one of the appropriate country to educate society and give a social impact. Moreover, society in Indonesia is still curious an urban farming system and this is a chance for HydroAgro to bring a social impact. And we aim for a higher conversion rate for new users to become our long-term partners in hydroponics. Basically, the hydroponic system is a modern agriculture system, very, very flexible that can be used in the limited land and almost three times more productive compared to the conventional system. In the future, I do believe that this urban farming system could be the best side income for the new farmer, whether the farmer is an old generation or even a millennial. Green living is huge right now as more people are definitely getting environmentally conscious with their lifestyle and with the things they buy. So today we are visiting a store in Marquina that advocates for sustainable living through the use of their products that are made from bamboo. Bamboo is abundantly seen here in the Philippines. It also represents the Filipino culture, meaning the culture of Bayanihan. And second is the sustainability and the ability of bamboo that has a lot of potential. Bamboo Company is a social enterprise that promotes sustainability by focusing on bamboo products. The aim of the company is to lessen global challenges such as plastic pollution and climate change. So have you experienced the current boom in our food deliveries in this pandemic situation? With what we have as a solution, the bamboo cutlery, we aim to change the food delivery system more sustainable. When you think of the world's major coffee producers, Brazil, Colombia and Kenya usually spring to mind. But more recently, Vietnam has joined the big three. In 20 years, Vietnam has gone from producing a mere fraction of world coffee to being the world's second largest producer. But the resulting spiced coffee waste is alarming. The fees for garbage bags to throw away the coffee grounds amounts to $1.9 million each year. Usually waste or not reuse anymore, we just throw them away, They're not good for the planet. I myself seeking for option to save the planet and I think drinking water from reusable materials is healthier than drinking water from plastic. The optimization of this enormous waste not only helps to solve the environmental problem, but also to achieve the healthy profitability. Our goal is to elevate the value of spent coffee grounds in hope to contribute to reduce the use of plastic packaging. 